got it working for Celsius, we can copy pasta coding to do the same thing for Celsius. I'm sorry, we got it working for Fahrenheit. We're going to make it work for Celsius. So let's say Celsius field value. Sorry, valid. Copy pasta. And down here, we'll copy pasta this. Get rid of all of this because we already know it's input to Celsius to Fahrenheit. And copy pasta this. And a lot of you might see your dry or don't repeat yourself alarm bells going off. And that's a really good attitude, but it's the holidays. And I am in a chilled out mood. Celsius. I know. Jesse Warden, chilled out. What's going on with the world? I know, right? It's the holidays. I don't get much vitamin D these days. I don't think many people get vitamin D these days. All right. Now we have the ability to parse not just our Fahrenheit when somebody types and say if the field's value or not, but also when they type in Celsius to see if the value is valid or not, right? So what that means is that we can now type in both. And if it's a number, great. If it's not a number, great. Same with Celsius, right? So we can correct them both. Fantissimo.